Today we want to look at the very basics of using a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet is made up of rows and columns. The rows are numbered from 1 going down to a very high number in Excel, and the columns are lettered with the letters A, B, C, D, etc. all the way to the right. When a row and a column intersect, we have what's known as a cell. So here the cell C4 is selected it is currently active, so the cell with a black outline around it is known as the active cell. The active cell has a fill handle in the lower right hand corner. That's called the auto fill handle. So watch what happens when I use the auto fill handle. I have the numbers from 1 to 10 here, and I was able to generate those numbers very quickly by using the auto fill handle. I have the numbers 1 and 2 already typed in and I'm going to select both cells by clicking and dragging with the left mouse button. Now I have started a simple pattern from 1 to 2 and if I move my mouse over the auto fill handle it changes the mouse pointer to a different shape. So now when I click and drag with the auto fill handle you can see that it will automatically place the numbers up to 10 inside the selected range. When I move over to the uh, months at the top of the screen, I also am able to fill in automatically the different months of the year. And so there are a number of different series that Excel can automatically fill in for you. Now if I select a single number and I try using the auto fill handle, you'll see that it just copies the number across. So that's going to become pretty important. That's a really neat feature that we're going to use very shortly. But for now I'm going to undo that by clicking the undo button or I could also click Control Z, and that was autofill. So I'll undo the autofill. And I'll just take a quick moment to explain the two other major features of the Excel spreadsheet. In this area here, we'll see the name box. So right now it says B3, and in the next video, you will see how to name cells using the name box. Over here, we have the formula bar. So this area is where cell contents are displayed. I can very easily add an equation at the bottom of column B as I can use the equal sign to start using a function built into Excel which is called the sum function. So I type in the word sum and I can open the left parenthesis or the opening round bracket and I can simply select all of the cells that I want to include in this equation. I then close the round bracket and hit enter and I have the sum of all those numbers. If I add more numbers then my sum is automatically updated. Now using the autofill handle, I can also click and drag to copy that sum all the way across to the different cells. So now I see that for the months of February and March, there's no values. But if I enter values, they'll automatically be updated because I have an equation in the lower cell.